Hey guys, Zap here, and today I have some big news for you. Reza finally dropped their greatly hyped 1.3 update last Saturday and boy oh boy is it massive. And as is tradition, I'll try to give you a quick overview of the most impactful changes and how I think they'll affect Autumn Vista 2. Spoiler, this patch is so packed that it would literally be easier if I just went over all the things that didn't get improved or changed. So first of all, let's address the elephant in the room, or at least one of the many. AMS2's physics engine received yet another overhaul that is at least as massive as the one in the glorious 1.2 patch about half a year ago. The entire model got completely revamped and is now taking even more internal factors into consideration when simulating grip levels. Basically, the flexibility of all parts present in the driveline is now realistically simulated and affecting the tires. But even more impactful is a bug fix that has plagued Autumn Mr. 2's physics since its first beta release to various extents. The issue best known as sticky differential or sticky diff. And should you be unfamiliar with this bug, let me quickly explain it. You know the strange feeling of something being a bit off when cornering? Like understeer at corner entry and then a sharp and sudden change in behavior to oversteer at around the apex? Well, that's the sticky diff. For me personally, this has been the most notable change in the whole physics department so far in all of Autumn Vista 2's updates. The last somewhat more meaningful change in the physics department affects the default setups of all cars since they have been revised to suit the individual cars better. This is also part of the reason why you should make sure to delete your tuning setups folder. The folder in question can be found in the location that is now displayed on your screen. Next, the 1.3 patch introduced two new pieces of content. A completely reworked and now laser scanned version of the Azure circuit, which might be better known as the Monaco GP, and on the other hand two brand new cars, the VW Polo and Virtus which can both be found in the TSI Cup category. Those two cars are also the ones present in the background footage. And in all honesty, they might naturally be on the slower side, but they sure are a hell of a lot of fun to drive, as they really require you to carry your momentum through corners and also reward you for hitting the accelerator as soon as possible. And based on how incredibly well they handle in Auto Rooster 2, I really wish Reza will add a MX-5 cup car at one point, because in my opinion, Automobilista 2 could be what iRacing is, just less expensive and with better physics and force feedback. At least if a potential MX-5 would be equally good as the VWs. Okay, with those two areas out of the way, let's advance to the last three changes I wanna cover in this video. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, please brace yourself because what you are about to see has been highly anticipated and promised to us since Autumn Risto 2's 1.0 release. A freaking multiplayer rating system. Yes, it's finally here. At least a beta version for now. It is not exactly stated how it works behind the scenes and what affects your rating to which extent, but it's heavily inspired by the one present in Project Cars 2. So all you gotta do for now is to be competitive but avoid contact with other cars and limit your off-track moments. All it does for now is to log all of your online races and provide you with a rating that presumably increases the better your race results are and a safety rating that is grouped into several tiers of which you have to more or less grind through. It's also worth noting that multiplayer servers can be restricted by ratings and that Reza could already be thinking about adding scheduled ranked races in the future as they stated that they are working with third-party multiplayer services to integrate Autumn Rooster 2's rating system into their services, which might lead to scheduled multiplayer races in the future. For now, that's all they shared with us, but a dedicated update thread concerning the plans for the multiplayer mode, plus more details about their rating system, will be published soon. Moving on, a new option regarding Autumn Rooster 2's force feedback settings, called Default Plus, is now available in the force feedback settings, which essentially was introduced to communicate more details through your wheel. Again, all we know for now 
is that the force feedback signal is computed a bit differently to the default profile, especially on the dampening side. But a detailed explanation will be released, again, in the upcoming weeks. The last big addition in the 1.3 patch is the possibility to now customize your AI opponents. So in theory, you are now able to compete in a Formula Classic race against Formula 1 greatest drivers at once. And of course, every driver's abilities like driving skill, tire management or even wet driving for instance are fully customizable. To add them to your race, all you gotta do is to create a .xml file in the location displayed now and tune their abilities. In case you want a full guide on how to set them up properly, I've added a link to Risa's official step-by-step -step guide down in the description. So yeah, I guess all in all, it can finally be acknowledged that Auto Risa 2 officially got rid of all of Project Car's flaws, or rather the Madness Engine's flaws. So far, I've only tried the GT3s, GTEs and TSI Cup cars, but I have to compliment Risa on their new physics engine baseline and even more so on the successful removal of the sticky differential, which has plagued us for far too long now. Simply put, the new physics are in a brilliant state for a game that features such a variety of cars and car classes. My main concern for the next few months is whether people are willing to give Auto Mr. 2 another chance, since this version now feels like what Auto Mr. 2 should have been at release one and a half years ago. If this is the case, then there's not a single doubt left that the game will flourish, now that there's a rating system in place that actively monitors your racecraft and safety when it comes to online racing, at regularly scheduled races by third-party services to the mix, and AMS2 is all set. However, on the other hand, if people are done for good with Autumn Rister 2, then it might just become another option for mostly offline races, much like R Factor 2. Even though RF2 has a huge esports scene, but you get the point. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts about the physics changes, the rating system, and if you're bored, even some vague speculations about how Auto Rooster 2 might develop in the future. If you enjoyed the video or got something useful out of it, you could consider subscribing for more sim racing content. And with that said, Risa, please give me a MX5. And I'll see you in the next one. Drive safe, increase your ratings, and happy dive bombing. Take care.